the top left, please. Yeah, thank sure. you. To my side. I'll move it over. Okay, good evening. We're going to do a review of today's game and then we're going to do a very quick Mondays with the 22.30 embargo Sunday night just on the side for the newspapers. Who wants to start in today's game? Jerry. Thomas, does that feel in a way almost like a defeat? Of course. Two teams with two goals? Of course. What do you think it's down to? I think that we started both uh, halves very well and controlled the match and uh, we took a very offensive approach to this game today. Um, in a very offensive 5-3-2. Um, we knew about the risks. We knew about the risks in, in coverage for to avoid counterattacks, but we knew about it, so you need to be very, very disciplined. We showed the discipline over most parts of the of the first half, but uh, within situations we, <coughs> we, we, um, we took... Uh, we took too much risk. We lost discipline in the in the formation, and you cannot do this because it was anyway, like I said, a very offensive approach. So that costed us some some dangerous moments in the in the like in the end of the first half, where we were lucky not to not to concede. We were unlucky not to score. I'm not sure if it was a foul in front of the goal and had some good half chances and chances. Second half reminded the team to to stick to the plan to execute the match plan more more with more discipline and more precise we did this then we are 2-0 up and again we take uh, we take too much risk in in situation where you cannot take this kind of risk if you anyway like have an such an offensive offensive approach on the pitch so we invited uh, counterattacks. We invited big chances. Then, uh, once you do this, you you have a lack of you lack confidence. You lose confidence, and you invite uh, the opponents to 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 smell to smell that something is possible where it's absolutely unnecessary. Nick, hang on, one, one Nick, from you, Tom. Yeah, but guys, I mean, yeah, I mean, it okay, good performance, but this is for sure not the moment to talk about individual per, uh, performances and praise individual players. We do this as a team, and and we lost points, uh, crucial points. This is not the moment to praise individuals. Tom, did you feel six minutes of time added on at the end was fair, or yeah, the they got there? yeah, I think so. It was like, um, yeah, I mean. Uh, didn't uh, was not surprised about it. I, d I did not. I, I'm not in control of, of, of it. If it's correct, but it seems like that it was not a lot of time played. So it's no problem with that. Mark, did you sense that last 15 minutes that the team had dropped a lot? I mean, it seemed to be. It's not about dropping too low. It's about the ball losses. It's about the structure. It's not about dropping too low. Absolutely not. It's like about where you lose the balls, in which positions, which uh, then. Um, the the opponent takes, of course, also a crazy approach because they have nothing to lose. We 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 could not score the third one. Huge chances to score the third one. We sometimes cannot even convert the the situation into a chance, like big big chances that we don't even create because uh, the pass is missing, the dribbling is wrong, the decision is wrong. So uh, and we, it c in some point, <laughs> we played like we were two nil down and not two nil up. And um, so I don't think that we were too deep on the opposite, and then we we tried to um, to respond to it and and change the structure. So don't know if that was the right decision from me. I need to to watch it again. But um, in in general, like the the is this for me? I can just repeat myself. It's a lack of execution of 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 discipline and uh, execution of the match plan throughout the whole half. It, uh, and we get punished for it. If it's fair or not, it's it's not worth uh, discussing. It is like this in a moment. Neil Barnett. Uh, what was the injury to Alonso? And also at half time, what was the thinking in switching Jamie from Aspie to Fraser? Aspie had a yellow card. Uh, Aspie was uh, very, very active in the first half, but he was too offensive. We, we struggled there on this position. Aspie took too much risk there. Uh, what what we normally do if we have a 3-2 formation, but today we only had a 3-1 formation in the build-up, so 
Um, we were like sometimes in a two against two with uh, Ruben, the only the only spare player in front, and um, and uh, that's why we changed because Aspi had a had a um, had a yellow card on top, and uh, that's why we changed and wanted to have the the runs uh, from from Aspi in second half and the control from Risi. Like I said, I was very happy how we played the second half, so how we started the second half, and I think it was we created chances, half chances, and and enough situations to deserve a two 0 lead. Um, that was more or less the idea behind it. No, I was not injured. It was just a decision. Okay, we get at the front here, Tom, and then Simon to finish. Thank you. No, I don't think so. Actually, I don't think that ownership is a is a is a is a reason for lack of focus. I don't think that there is a lack of focus. Um, it's um, I think we're focused, and we showed like during the situation uh, when it began that that we can still focus. Uh, I would not consider that that I would not consider this as an advantage for for the match against the Le uh, Leeds. Absolutely not. We're it does not change much for us because the sanctions are not lifted and the season will will anyway go on. So um, we 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 still hope for for a positive outcome and for for of course that this uh, that the situation is solved. But in a moment it, it seems like it, but it's not. So it's not worth thinking about it. We have our own stuff to to uh, to solve and and to do better because we struggle at the moment. Obviously. Okay, Tom, and then Simon to finish. It, it was. A significant development under the announcement of the purchase agreement that was signed. Mm. Um, do you, you know, what was your reaction to that? Do you, do you welcome that? And um, have you had mm. a chance to talk to anyone? No, and not a lot of not, not not no reaction actually from me because I heard it today in the morning and I was in the middle of preparing my my session. So I'm in my match day routine. I uh, there's no there's no influence that I'm more excited to come to the stadium or less excited last week. It's not like this. I, this is, uh, I do what I do and try to 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 to, to do the best uh, preparation for the match, no matter what's outside. So I even don't don't people tell me this, of course, uh, but it's not on my phone or, or I don't I don't scroll through the news on a match day. I have. I have my routine and I have enough to do, so it, it did absolutely not affect me. I know it's positive and we hope for the best and the situation is so long now that it, that, that we need uh, it to be solved, but for me personally it was no influence to the game. Okay, last one in this section, Simon. Hey Tom, it's yesterday you suggested that some of the players might play for the under 23s tomorrow. Mm. Is that still your plan and have you decided to do yeah. that? Yeah, but we will decide it first and then we will tell you. <laughs> Okay, can that's I it. Well, Rob, I said that's it, so we're going to finish it there. No, no, we're going to finish it there. The, the new Rob, I said we'll finish it there, so we'll finish it there. Right, Monday's over here.